Okay, we're back, and uh, this installment of our Let's Play should be much calmer, uh, less dramatic than the last several. Um, we've had a huge plot point with uh, the, you know, the return of Lysander and the strange separation of him and Arius. And now we're about to leave Guardia. I'm going to talk to the Elder here about our plans to go to Karzai, which is a, a nearby town, and uh, see if, you know, we're investigating there gets us. And uh, we're going to walk around town here and uh, say goodbye to some of the major sporting players. And then we'll be on our way. First stop, Ivory's Tent. And see what she's up to. I heard about everything? Yeah, I don't know. There's supposed to be a question mark there. Well, what are you going to do? Um, are you free of Lysander for good? Well, not not quite. Not when they have to, uh, to chase him down. And uh, chase him down they will. It's going to be a lot of the game devoted to this. <laughs> Get to that dummy. Uh, turn us, turn us, turn us. All right, man. <laughs> At least he backs off when he's asked to. Um, but, you know, Ivory is uh, kind of crushing on him a bit, and they're going to comment on this once they get out. Yeah, he's jocking you so hard. That was definitely one of my college buddies used that, uh, used that vernacular. Oh, my God. I guess let's go for some laughs, right? Um, you know, however off-color they may be. Um, boy, Turner should run for the Senate or something. Um, <laughs> and so let's go over to uh, the weapon shop. Oh, is that, wait, is that Britz's? I think it is. I have so much to say right now, but later he will. Um, yes, I don't know. I don't see how Turner is going to embarrass me today. Um, let's see, it's at the weapon shop here. I'm sure he's going to... Oh, yeah, there's Sharik around. This ought to be good. And by good, I mean over the top. <laughs> Lame brain. And, uh... Oh, and then he, he drops a, a Gandalf reference. <laughs> Those movies were just coming out around this time. Um, and so they're, they're giving her the plan. Um, and I think they have this impression that, you know, they're going to go to Karzai, find Lysander somewhere near there, you know, deal with him, and then come back. I don't think they know that they're about to go on, like, a, a massive journey. Oh, jeez, he wants a home-cooked meal. Because that's what women do, right? <laughs> at, least, at least she gives it right back to him. She's like a female Turnus, almost. Um, but anyway, but yeah, it seems like they don't really know that they're about to go on this, you know, very long journey that's going to take them, you know, months of game time. Um, so, you know, they're not really, there's not really any kind of drawn out goodbyes or emotional farewells or, you know, anything like that. Um, because I don't think they realize what they're getting into. Um, you know, because I'm guessing that, that this Karzai town is, you know, realistically maybe like a day's journey away, maybe a little more. Um, but, you know, with RPGs, it's always a little weird because you can go across the world map pretty fast. Um, it's one of those suspension of disbelief suspension of disbelief things, I guess. But yeah, I'm buying some uh, some armor and stuff, which I don't really need because they're so high level, but I figure I might as well keep, uh, keep improving them. Uh, just see how powerful I can get them uh, by the end of this game. You know, they're already level 50, which is a max, but I keep finding these, uh, these items that up their stats and they still started with the default armor, so they don't have the best possible equipment that they could have. And uh, so we'll see just how strong they are by the end. That'll be interesting. And then we'll look at the new stuff. Chainmail. I bought four chainmails because we're going to have an additional party member uh, join us before we go. And it looks like Terms doesn't even have an accessory. I'll have to find something for him. Um, Alright, so we're going to go out here, and I believe Nova's waiting for us. Yep, there she is. Um... I like that face with her eyes shut. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so she's going to join them, and the other guys don't really want a, a civilian with them. But she's quite a good fighter, as Galdar uh, will note at some point. And um, yeah, see, she does have useful abilities. But oh, oh, oh man, oh no, he didn't. <laughs> I just got a good answer for, <laughs> unless you'd like to die. Oh man, they, yeah, now that I think about it, actually, they do bicker quite a lot. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of, uh, bickering between them. You know, she's not gonna take his crap lightly. 
um, which I think, you know, I'll be thankful for at this point, because he's just an embarrassment. He's an embarrassment to his creator. <laughs> but now we're going to go uh, say goodbye to Nova Sisters, now she's with us. I think they give us some good items. And, uh, oh, that's cute. But, yeah, so I think you get some good stuff from them. Yeah, this is like a, yes, yeah, so here's a nice little accessory, and then she gives something too, I think. Uh, yeah, well, it's a 10, it's not that great, but, you know, it's all she's got. So I guess her sister is, you know, at the age where she's, you know, more mature, probably like late teen years, maybe. I can't remember, um, in one of the past videos it said how old she was when the parents were killed, um, you know, five or six years ago. But, um, she's probably old enough to, uh, be trusted with her sister, you know, for the time being. Because, again, they don't think they're gonna be gone that long, but they will be. Um, alright, so we're gonna go through here, not back into the East Forest, walk through here, oh, uh, more slimes. And then, uh, that bridge, something happens on the bridge, there's like a, a little event, yeah. We're gonna meet some new adversaries here, but first I'm gonna fetch this treasure. I think this is a good item, yeah, this is cool. Oh, we got here. Some sand crawlers, but we'll leave them alone. No sense, uh, dragging this out with a bunch of random battles. Um, so Jade Helmet, who's gonna be, here we go, this will be good for her. Um, prevents sleep. And then we'll head up here, oh! Not just crabs, but sadistic crabs. Well, those are the worst kind. I really can't condone sadism, so I guess I'll blow them up. <laughs> sadistic crabs. They make sadistic crab cakes. And then here's, um, okay, yeah, this is, uh, this guy. You're gonna see a lot of him. Um, he's a minor antagonist. He's from the Wyvern Fang cult, which I think he'll, he'll name drop in a minute. And um, this group is also referenced uh, briefly in Master of the Wind as part of the backstory, but here they're pretty important. Um, it's a cult that is even more extreme than Gallia in terms of their beliefs, which, you know, it's almost impossible to imagine, but I guess it is possible. Um, in the sense that not only are they, like, you know, hateful of all the other races, they want to uh, punish humans who, uh, you know, deviate from the you know, so-called uh, true values of Arcadius. And, um, so that makes them, you know, Gallia tries to avoid, uh, you know, hurting their fellow humans when they, when they can. I mean, they will if they have to, but it's not something I particularly like to do, but these guys are, are so freaking overzealous that they don't even care. Um, oh, you poison goner. I'm gonna, gonna, he's going down soon, though. Uh, yeah, there we go. Whoop, boop, one little poke with Nova Staff, he was out. See, so, aren't you glad you brought her, you guys? Yeah, so now that, you know, they've gotten themselves in deep with the with the Fang, and Turnus doesn't particularly want another enemy, but you're so good at making him, Turnus. I mean, how, you know. <laughs> um, Alright, so yeah, we're done here. Let's uh, cure Galdar's thing, otherwise the friggin' screen is gonna flash red every time he takes a step, and that drives me nuts. Oh, uh, what? Another fight? Oh, and the boss music is still playing. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, it's probably fixed now, though, now that we left the map. Oh, man. Oh, two sadistic crabs, curiously over on the left side of the screen. This is Karza here, this little uh, mountain. And this is a, you know, kind of a neat uh, chipset. I liked this. I think I use it for another town later. Um, I just like these little rocks. I mean, I guess, you know, with this era of, um, of RPG Maker, a lot of these projects had, uh, had graphical inconsistencies all over the place, but uh, it was always cool to, uh, you know, to take one of these new tile sets for a spin, and I got a chance to do that with a lot of them in this game. And I just gave Turnus a ring that prevents him from being silenced. I think the rest of the party may regret that. Um, okay, so let's go here. I don't know, let's, I don't think they have a, yeah, see, it's all the same shit. Because I just bought stuff in, in Guardia before I left. And, uh, well, let's try the weapon shot. They might have something interesting. Um, oh yeah, so there's another thing here. This is Galdar's uh, hometown. He grew up here. He lived here for a long time. And his family is actually uh, pretty wealthy. Pretty uh, big shot family here. Um, but he left for reasons which have not been made clear yet. But they will be uh, over the course of our, our stay here. And I think there's like a hidden item in here. Maybe like behind the bucket? Yeah, there we go. And, because I haven't really bought that many <laughs> items, I guess I should take the free ones when I have a chance. Um, and, you know, oh yeah, see, this guy says, <laughs> yeah, Arius intervenes. He's had enough. Um, 
so yeah, there's still a lot of hints right now that um, that Galdar, you know, got in trouble while he was here for something. Though with Galdar, that's hard to imagine. I mean, he's so uh, dignified and and usually behaves very well and doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't cause much trouble. So you know, you'd expect Turnus to get kicked out of places, but Galdar, it's like, huh. Um, but you know, Turnus knows what it is, but he does. He wants to respect Galdar and not, you know, squeal about it unless you know he tells him to. Um, so we're talking to these folks. A lot of people struggling economically. Oh, here's a Wyvern Fang guy. How about no crazy bastard? <laughs> um, and then there's uh, oh, this one guy's nice to Galdar. Um, okay, this like lady with the the big things on her head. Um, or I think you, you rescue that, that, that woman's little boy later. Uh, let's see what this guy's selling. Uh, angels. Yeah, I see. I should probably buy some stuff. What I got here? Yeah, get some of these. These are handy. A few tents. Uh, then I guess that's probably all I need. Um, so this is Galar's brother's house. I don't know if I want to go in yet. Um, oh, that freaking dog is hogging the ladder. Well, maybe I will go in then. <laughs> Um, and I think talking to Galdar's brother um, triggers a, a long cutscene, so I probably should just save, and we'll get to that uh, next time. All right, peace.